in the early 30s and 40s, animators felt suppressed by the styles of major studios and wanted to break away from realism in favor of a more graphic approach. Meanwhile, the war left many animators responsible for creating government-commissioned films, which reminded them that their work could convey meaningful modern-day messages and not just gags or fairy tales. The extremely limited budgets of these wartime films forced animators to tell stories using fewer resources, exposing them to the possibility of new animation techniques. As animators broke away from the major studios to form new ones, they began using elements of modern art to convey contemporary themes. Two-dimensional backgrounds and colors became vehicles of expression, rather than being used to depict reality. Likewise, character designs embraced the graphic quality with an emphasis on line and shape. The design of these characters then informed their movement, which was often limited. This approach was an artistic choice, proving that the so-called illusion of life was not the only acceptable method. Just a couple years after audiences began to accept these new styles, television studios started to abuse limited animation, employing it not to make a statement, but because they thought it was cheaper. This decline in quality once again led viewers to perceive the animated form as mere children's entertainment, and the cartoon modern style ultimately fell out of favor. That's why you never use limited animation just to cut your costs. Let form follow function. Remember kids, your animation doesn't have to conform to one style. Push the boundaries like these guys. 